Let me introduce the band. Jim West on guitar. Steve J on bass. John Bermuda Schwartz on percussion. And uh, um, Ruben Valtiero. No normally on keyboards, he's playing the egg. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Uh, I don't... Oh, that's coming up soon. Wait, we're, we're thanks for the reminder. We're switching to the red tambourine. Now we, we uh, I was just told this is a haunted tambourine. Apparently the woman who delivered this to the NPR offices, offices um, she was driving over here and she lost her car while she was driving it. I, I still don't understand how this works, but it's a haunted tambourine, ladies and gentlemen. Fear the tambourine. Okay, um, the, the third and final song uh, is something that's um, going to be on our next album. It was released last summer as part of the Internet Leaks Connection uh, collection. Uh, it's a White Stripes pastiche, uh, which we don't normally play with congas and acoustic guitar, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. So this is a tribute to uh, the icon Charles Nelson Reilly. was a mighty man, the kind of man you'd never disrespect. He stood eight foot tall, wore glasses, and he had a third nipple on the back of his neck. He ate his own weight in coal, and he screened diamonds every day. He could throw you down a flight of stairs, but you still would love him anyway. Yeah, you know you love him anyway. The Tour de France with two flat tires and a missing chain. He trained a rattlesnake to do his laundry. I'm telling you, the man was insane. He could rip out your beating heart and show it to you right before you died. Every day he'd make the host a match game, give him a piggyback ride. Yeah, two hour piggyback ride. Giddy up, Gene. Warrior master of the skies, he could melt your brain with his laser beam eyes. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! He had his very own line at the DMV. He made sweet, sweet love to a manatee. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! That was something to see, I tell you. Charles Nelson Riley sold his toenail clippings as a potent aphrodisiac. He ran a four-minute mile blindfolded with an engine block strapped to his back. He could eat more frozen waffles than any other man I know. Once he fell off the Chrysler building and he barely even stubbed his toe. Had a tiny little scratch on his toe, didn't even hurt. the man unhinge his jaw and swallow a Volkswagen hole. He'd bash your face in with a shovel if you didn't treat him like a star. Cause you can spit in the wind or tug on Superman's cape, but Lord knows you just don't mess around with Sienna. No, no, no. Talk about concert ever thank you so much thank you yay well after party <laughs>